So it's time for a fresh round of New Day Hot Topics. On today's panel, we have the ladies from the Balanced Black Girl Podcast, founder Lestrandra Alfred, plus Sage Kianmo and Srilata Ramallah. Welcome to all of you. Yeah, Glad to have you us. here. So tell me a little bit about the podcast. Yes. So uh, as you know, I used to have a wellness blog called The Balance Berry. Do you not have it anymore? I don't. I'm it's still, still out using there. The tips. recipes and everything are all still out there, but I'm now focused on the podcast where I interview women of color in wellness every week. That is really great. And that's yeah. where the balanced came from. Exactly. And tell me about your roles. Yep. Yeah, so we're just big uh, community champions and supporters of the Balanced Block Girl um, community, and we just, you know, we really show up for her, so it's really great. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, same. I think we all really love Les and what she's doing and want to support her. Yeah. We do. Thank you. Um, me too. Count me in. <laughs> we have a picture of you with somebody pretty important. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I had a this balanced happen? black girl. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'd say. <laughs> Michelle Obama, yeah. what was the, the situation here, yes. and can I come next time? Yes, so with Balanced Black Girl, we have a book club where we read books by black woman authors every other month, and our very first book that we did was Becoming, and uh, her team heard about Good it. Good pick, by the way. I know, right? Good pick. Her team heard about it and invited us to have a book club meeting with her when she was here in the spring. That is really awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank okay, you. so let's talk about a few things. Social media, <laughs> Instagram. Um, just said on Monday that they are launching a new artificial intelligence mm -hmm. design that will allow users to know when they've written a comment that might be considered offensive. No idea how they know this, yeah. but it'll pop up a little message saying, do you really want to post this? They also say soon they're going to allow you to restrict comments from somebody who may regularly comment in a negative way, and that person won't know they've been restricted, mm -hmm. so you don't have to deal with mm -hmm. the you've been blocked. Yeah. You're on social media a lot. Yeah. Tell me what you think about about this? Personally, I've been very fortunate that I really have a very positive social media community and I haven't had to deal with, with folks who leave mean comments too much, but I know that it is such a problem and I think it's good that the platform is doing everything they can to try to limit that. Thoughts? Yeah, I actually I'm think for it's I'm so down yeah. for this because yeah. I just, it, it doesn't happen to me much either, yeah. but it bothers me so much that it mm -hmm. happens to others. Yeah. yeah, I think it's really great. I have a little one and I think sort of the idea of her being on Instagram at some point and just having these protections I think will be really great. And you think about 14, 15, 16, and you yeah. know, teenage, mm -hmm. teenage people, yep. if I, I, so I have to think back a ways, yeah. but you know, that can really hurt some yep. of this stuff. Yes. So if we maybe stop people and ask them to think for a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about Disney and we'll mm -hmm. talk about the new Ariel that's been, um, cast in The Little Mermaid. And I have to say the biggest problem I had here with Halle Bailey is that I kept thinking it was Halle Berry for the longest <laughs> time. And then I finally went, oh, this is somebody I haven't heard of with a yeah. beautiful voice. Yes. Um, I, you know, I'm a huge fan of barriers coming down. What do you think? I'm so excited. So excited. I mean, The Little Mermaid is one of my favorite Disney movies, and I'm a really big fan of Halle Bailey. She's really talented, and I think she's going to make an amazing Ariel. What does this say to young girls of color? Oh. Oh, so much. Everything. I mean, I'm so excited for my three-year-old to be able to see Disney princesses that look like her yeah. and that she can relate to because I think I struggled a little bit with that when I was a kid mm -hmm. of sort of relating to what a Disney princess looks like and yeah. saying that I could be one too, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and they're very strong characters and so it's exciting to see them as women it's of It's an color. interesting thing. I mean, I think that's important for all the rest of us to understand what this means yeah. when you can picture yourself mm -hmm. in new and different circumstances. Yeah. So keeping on the Disney train, there's going to be um, the live action Lion King, which I cannot wait. I've already made a date with my grown son because yes. he was two when the Lion King came out. We watched it a hundred times. Yes. And there's some yes. glorious people in here, obviously. We have a, a, a picture of the cast there, starting with Beyonce as Nala, which is like genius. Yes. Are you guys looking forward to this? Do you remember the Lion King? Oh, yes. 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 Okay. yes. It's a definitely, right. a, definitely a classic in the yeah. 90s, growing up 94. in the 90s. 94. It was that 94. long ago. I can't believe it. And 25 years. And they have a new generation of very, like talented singers, creators, and artists who are going to be cast, and the new generation that really going to bring, elevate the, the Lion, Lion King as a movie. Uh, yeah. Donald Glover, yeah. Alfred Woodard, yeah. mm -hmm. Chutel. EGF4. There's so many people in here, and it's if you haven't seen the trailer, please watch it because it's yeah. so 
It is amazeballs watching that uh, yes. live action. Yes. Did I have another one there? Disney's live action Mulan remake isn't a musical, it's a feminist action movie. Yes. What do we think? I'm down for that I too. I thought it was before. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah the trailer is great. Yeah. Well, if we just, I'm going to miss the music. Yes. You know, I let's get down to business. Yeah. It's yes. one of the yes. classic Mulan, um, you know, songs. Mulan was like that. something you couldn't quite improve on, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But maybe you can watch them back to back and yeah. sort of figure yeah. out how you feel about them. <laughs> While we're on the, the subject of women's empowerment, uh, women's World Cup champion Ooh, yes, four yes. times, the last two back to back. Yes. And it turns out that um, they had a 20% larger audience for the final game than the 2018 men's final. Mm -hmm. So there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mic <Mike> drop. <Yeah. laughs> And again, I mean, since you guys have young kids, tell me a bit about what that means in terms of, you know, what your daughter sees. Yeah, I think it's very exciting to see her. I mean, she's so into soccer now. It's something she's really excited that she wants to play, that she wants to be into. And just to see, again, like powerful women taking it four times in a row is... Yep. Pretty great. I love seeing little boys and men be fans of yes, women's sports yes. too. Yeah. It feels so different yes. from you know the way that I uh, grew up, and it's it's such a remarkable team that they're almost a, a movement, yeah. you know, as much as they are a right. sports team. And we get to have two of them back here playing for the Seattle Rain. Mm -hmm. So there you go with that. And then, <laughs> who's dog people? Who who else? You well, I love you dogs, I don't have one. You don't have one, yeah. but you love dogs. <laughs> I love other people. Okay, so there's new research out that, that says that our dogs know when it's time to go outside. They know, yeah. I mean, when they usually go, when yeah. it's time for treats, yeah. when you're supposed to come home, et cetera, et cetera. So we have a few pictures from our own lives to demonstrate. Oh. This is my dog, Pip, and this is what she looks like when it's time for her walk. She yeah. knows it's time, and that can, is she not communicating there? Can you not message. see that yeah, that's ready to go? She's like a gorilla. <laughs> she's got these incredibly intelligent eyes. And I feel like she's right on the verge of talking. Um, <laughs> so does your dog do this? Yeah, he self-grooms every morning between 4 to 5 a.m. That's in his our time. bedroom. That's, and his, so, that's his me time. Yeah, and so we realize that he does know the time because he, on the dot, Will self groom between four and five a.m. Isn't that yeah. something? Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. Funny. Do they? Does your dog present themselves for bedtime? Because like Pip is like nine o'clock is her preference. Yes. Yeah. She and she wants to like lure you up there with her because we should all be in bed. Yeah. yeah. At that point, yeah. it's a little early for us. But. Yeah. Hunter knows food, what, when he gets fed, when he needs to go out. Everything is really timed for him. He's very much on a schedule. And they're so super smart and they're yeah. so connected to us humans mm -hmm. that I think they're great at pattern recognition. Mm -hmm. And yeah. We have to use different words for walk all the time. We've run through, I mean, ambulation <laughs> and externalization. <laughs> We've been through everything. So we started using the Spanish word for outside. And the other day that word came on TV yeah. and she whipped her head around. Wow. So my dog is bilingual. Yeah. I just <laughs> Phenomenal. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you guys That's for smart. being here. Thank you All so the much. best with the podcast. We love seeing you again. Thank it's you wonderful. So much. Come anytime.